everybody. Look at there, there's a couple rollers. We're gonna do a walk around here. Flag bar roll three asked me to do a walk around. I'm like, hell yeah, somebody wants something. I'll do that instead of whatever I would do. <laughs> right? Look at that though. There's a nice little LE. Fantastic shade of blue. Uh, we got the different wheels here to compare. What are we got here? Yeah, Potenza RE970 AS. You know what? These are uh, actually pretty decent. You know, they're all seasons, but uh, <laughs> well, they make my snow tires feel terrible. Let's <laughs> we'll see what we got here under the hood, huh? Suspension here can make it quite a bit. And then I got a set slipper in the front and the back. And I did it clean my engine bay recently, so it's a fairly decent thing. And I got the culinary intake to go along with the tune and stuff. And that sucker goes all the way down here. It's basically back here in the light, so I'm gonna just think about cutting a hole here and scooping it in like my S2000 have a ram scoop. I think instead I want to put a splitter down here and then a sidewall to force even more volume into that. Uh, here we got Okay, hon, how long do you need? Okay. Anyhow, what have we got going on? Right, yeah, so you take those suckers off. Look, you can see your wing and stuff, it looks cool. And uh, in the mirror, right, let's see, get the phone out of the way. So in the mirror, you can see uh, it looks, you have much more visibility. That little hockey puck there is my GPS that I use for track days. And this letter C here, something I'm very proud of. This is, um, is a group C with hooked on driving, so that means like the advanced open or uh, as close as they get to open passing. Um, and uh, Blue Streak got to go roll with those guys, so that was pretty cool. Uh, this is another essential component this K40, uh, really sweet radar detector, it lets me drive how I need to and not get in trouble with the Johnny Law. Um, the stereos or whatever, I don't necessarily recommend it. The stock one was a double stacked uh, CD player. It just didn't have Bluetooth. Uh, what else we got here? I got these more magnet holder. I was using for a little bit. I got a new phone. Dropped my phone taking a picture yesterday, or actually a few days ago, but this is the first day back. Um, very important component here is the shifter knob. This thing adds aerodynamic smoothness all around. It's a uh, 360 degree smoothicator. Uh, makes for uh, faster grips, faster shifts, more aerodynamic shifts. So uh, this can take five, 10 seconds off of a typical lap, lap time. Amazing, amazing. Uh, that might be hyperbole. Uh, your mileage may vary. So, uh, we got our uh, GoPro mounts, dash view. I have a couple of them in case I gotta flip one around. Actually, I was using this. I made a custom mount for a cell phone. I gotta hold it up there. Right? I'm gonna forgo that and use magnets. Um, we got a skip day, track day sticker. Those guys are the best. Oh my gosh, if you guys can come out here in the Portland, Vancouver area, they do the tracks around here and you can get anywhere from like 165 to 225, depending. But you get seven hours of track time, which is like at least three times what you'll get in a typical group uh, and typical ones will cost you 250 to 400 and something so yeah all right so that's nice uh, it's really dirty but 
that's part of this whole channel, right? It's not like S2000, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because it's a roller, man. We just, we just roll with it. Roll out. Still looks pretty clean compared to most cars. Right? Right. Yeah, I'm making this my wife shopping right now to do this because I am a busy guy. There's somebody who has content. How you doing it, bro? Bye, bro, girl. Calling out to you, bro. It's a Magna Flow. It's got a pass-through hole thing, you know, that's got baffling around it, so it's a straight through. Uh, I can see my cat still doing. I got the other video up with the headers, though. You can see that. I think that's about it, guys. Um, I got other tires and wheels at home that I do for track days. These are winter now, uh, or rain. But actually, I can use the other tires for rain, too. The RE71R tires are really good for this car. This car is lightweight enough that I don't tear them up at the track. They actually, I mean, I tear them up. It's the last a few days for uh, the S2000 that was getting where I get about two days out of a set of tires, and that's just, <laughs> that's expensive. And the ones I'm using now are uh, much better. They're uh, lasting forever, actually. Ventus RS4s, but I don't think they would be as good for the roller. They don't stick as well, they don't stick as quickly. They stick as well, but you have to get them hot. I don't know how long that would take in this car. It takes three to five laps in the US. And I'm talking track stuff, I know this is content. So this is the walk around. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you want to see. I want to do stuff that people want to see. It's way more fun than guessing. See? See?